Hello and welcome. Uh, today we'll talk about how to migrate purchase order history into S4HANA system. And this is a requirement which comes in in many projects where there are open transactions in GRIR op accounts. Uh, what it means we got uh, partially completed transactions um, in the goods receipt or the invoice receipt. Uh, one example could be goods receipt is done but the invoice is not visited yet. In that scenario we need to be able to migrate the PO history to be able to continue the subsequent transactions and also um, uh, they have the history in the PO as well. So that uh, the subsequent invoice receipt can be continued in the new system after the cutover is done. So for that we are going to follow SAP standard process and, and there is there are steps in SP, SPRO which we are going to, going to follow. Um, so, so to start with we are going to create a PO and uh, then we are going to modify the PO to be able to upload the history and then we are going to see how the history tab appears in the PO and, and, and how it looks and, and what transaction gets posted. So um, let's start. So we'll go to SPRO. And again, I don't want to remember the exact path. So let's search with the, hist with the term history. And I'm going to just find out the exact text I'm looking for here. Uh, yeah, there you go. So carry out transfer of PO history. So before doing that, we are going to first produce the produce a load file. So this is how this is a step. Let me go back there. You can see it here. So this is the step in which you can produce uh, a load file. And the same load file we are going to use to initially create the PO as well. So let's take a, um, an example which I've done recently. Um, so this is a PO which we have got. And then once you execute this one, sorry, before I go there, let me just tell you about this as well. So this logical file name is important. And logical file name basically contains a logical file path and the path contains the actual physical file path as well. And you can configure this one with this name in the in the file transaction code, and then um, there you basically put up put the proper file path based on the uh, the file system that you have in the system. So it's not difficult. Maybe you can look at my other sessions where I uh, speak about the uh, the file transaction code, how it is managed. I'll put up a link um, about. How to, how to maintain logical file name and logical file path using file transactions and then how to use that as well. Uh, but uh, that's not the main, uh, main aim here. We are going to talk about how to migrate PO history here. So assuming you know logical file name concept and you know how to uh, create the file, file path there, uh, we are going to start creating a, a file, a, a loadable file in this path basically. So when you execute this one, it's going to create two records, um, header and item. Um, just going back to the previous step again, you got um, you can put a range as well or multiple PO as well to create multiple records, if you like. But because we are going to do a sample load, we can is we can create just one PO header and one PO item, and we are going to remove the PO number because this is already created. And inside this one, we are going to um, yeah, so this is all good. So we can transfer the data and save it. So it's going to save the file in this location, as you can see at the bottom. And this location is derived from the logical file name and the logical file path underlying the, the logical file name. Okay, now we are going to create a PO from this file. So we are going to use this batch input program. There are many ways you can do it, but for now we are going to use this batch input program. Um, and with this we can, we can. Let me go back there one more time. You can see the name here. So this is the, this is the log, this is the program name, um, the direct input program name. And then I'm going to put the same path basically. 
and then um, with the database update and um, and um, uh, log with error message if there is any error there so yeah the PO is created so let's look at the PO first ME23N I'm sorry ME23N and you can see it here it's already reflecting the number here 959 is the new PO created and you can see the 30 each um, is the quantity for the PO and net price is uh, $100,000 per each that means it becomes uh, $3 million uh, for the 30 each quantity um, altogether so now we we are going to do the goods receipt assuming the goods receipt is already done in the legacy system and this PO is a migration PO we have to now reflect the PO history in this PO you can see there is no history here um, but once we load the PO history then it's going to reflect here and we are going to assume that the PO has been fully resetted this line item has been fully resetted in the legacy system and we are going to just receive re receive the the uh, the goods um, um, GRIR um, um, sorry my bad we are going to reflect the financial transaction on the GRIR account um, in the PO history so let me just go back to the PO, PO history section before I go there let me just modify this file because um, we this is a new number let's generate the, the file with the new number which is generated so that you can update the history so we know that we got this was a quantity 30 and then the the amount is um, 3 million right because that's what the total amount is for the for 30 quantity so this is actually 30.000 whereas this is 3 million this is how this fields reflect the values um, and then let's go down a little bit and then you have to put one here and then and this means the GR, GR is to be done or is done uh, is to be reflecting in the new system so now let's click on transfer and then save it so once we save it then the file is ready to run the PO history so this is the PO history so initially we ran a different program to create the PO now we are going to run this this step or this program to upload the PO history so before we run this one first of all let me just change the file path because this is where the file is stored updated file is stored for the for the PO number which is just uh, posted a few minutes back and these are the accounts which are going to be used for the postings so this is the GRIR clearing account number and this is a contract account which is a take on account or which is a migration account so uh, the posting will happen between this account and this account um, this account and this account basically we are going to, we have got goods receipt completed there is no invoicing invoice receipt done so um, so we are going to have a posting which will reflect debit and credit between this account is this account this will be credit and this will be debit so now if I you have to select this one with database update and then you select this one as well and then execute and it's done so if I now go to the PO and try to open the same PO 23N you can see the history appears here and you can see a posting have happened here as well so this is the this is the financial document which is posted there is no separate material document created because the posting has already been done in the goods goods receiving part has already been done in the past that means the inventory has been hit so that's why um, this initial stock entry account is used and this is the offset entry of the inventory account in the migration of the inventory balance so um, this account will be cancelled out between the inventory migration and the migration of the GRIR clearing account um, or clearing posting uh, like this one and this one reflects the GRIR clearing account 
line item and subsequently in the new system when the posting will be or the invoice will be receipted uh, this account will be cleared and the credit will be on the vendor account and the debit will be applied on the on this account and this will this account will be cleared and that will be post go live in the new system when the goods is received when the invoice is received i hope you understood the process to produce a file and how to upload the po history the 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 only thing is um it is possible that we may need to have uh, a, a mass uh, data upload for this and for that it's better to produce or create a custom program as a wrapper um, on top of the this uh, the, the the program that we use so the pro actual program name for this path so this is the path but the actual program name for this is you can see it here this is the actual program name you can see it here and this is what we what we ran few minutes back so um yeah so it's better to create a wrapper program to be able to migrate and verify the data for a, a lot of records and um yeah so i i hope you understood the process to produce a file and upload po history thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later thank you